Hello guys, I'm very excited to introduce you to this brand new model from Stability AI. This model is called as Stable Video 3D or SV3D for short. Stable Video 3D is based on Stable Video Diffusion and it introduces two variants SV3D underscore U and SV3D underscore P. With the help of this SV3D model, you can generate 3D videos from a single image. If you go to the product page of this model, you can see some of the videos in action. Now the quality of this model is quite supreme. For example, SV3D underscore U creates orbital videos without camera conditioning, while SV3D underscore P allows 3D video generation along specified paths improving upon prior models with enhanced multi-view consistency and quality. Stable Video 3D can be used now for commercial purposes with a Stability AI membership. But for non-commercial use, you can download the model weights on Hugging Face from this website and I will also drop the link in video's description. But make sure that you have good GPU with lots of VRAM plus a lot of memory because this is not a model for faint hearted it is quite a big model and requires a lot of resources now <clears throat> having said that let me give you a bit of an overview of this model so this model was just released i guess yesterday and it is a generative model based on stable video diffusion as i mentioned earlier and it primarily relates to the field of 3d technology and it delivers greatly improved quality and view consistency and as i mentioned there are two variants which comes with this model sv3d underscore u and underscore p underscore u generates orbital videos based on single image inputs without camera conditioning whereas sv3d underscore p extends the capability of accommodating both single images and orbital views allowing for the creation of 3d video along specified camera paths Stable Video 3D can be used now for commercial purposes with a stable Stability AI membership. Now, they have also highlighted the versatility of their video model across various applications. For example, building upon this model, you can uh, do a lot of stuff in the field of 3D technology where you can have multi-view when compared to previous releases of Stable 0, 1, 2, 3. And I have covered it in great detail in my other video. Now, this is primarily is all about video diffusion. By adapting their stable video diffusion, image to video diffusion models with the addition of camera path conditioning, this SV3D is able to generate multi-view videos of an object. The use of video diffusion models in contrast to image diffusion model as used in the previous ones provides major benefits in generalization and view consistency of generated outputs. They have also proposed improved 3D optimization, leveraging this powerful capability of SV3D to generate arbitrary orbits around an object. By further implementing these techniques with disentangled elimination optimization, they have got a new masked score distillation sampling loss function through which this SV3D is able to reliably output quality 3D meshes from a, from a single input image. And their technical report and paper is also available. I will drop the link in video description. You can not only read this abstract, but if you click on this download PDF on the right hand side, you can read this paper in detail. And there are a lot of nuggets which are scattered throughout this paper, as you can see here. I'm not going to go into the detail and regurgitate this paper, but I would say this that if you want to read about all that sinusoidal embeddings clip and all the nitty gritties of this model as how exactly it is doing scaling have a read through this paper it is quite interesting as an another example look at this diagram now sv3d introduces significant advancement in 3d generation particularly in novel view synthesis or nvs unlike previous approaches that often grapple with limited perspective and inconsistencies in input in outputs, SV3D is able to deliver coherent views from any given angle with proficient generalization. This capability not only enhances post-controllability, 
but also ensures consistent object appearance across multiple views, further improving critical aspect of realistic and accurate 3D generations. Now, if you look at this example, this is again amazing things happening here. Here, Suite 3D is leveraging its multi-view consistency to optimize 3D neural radiance fields or NERF and mesh representation to improve the quality of 3D meshes generated directly from novel views. And they have designed a masked score distillation sampling loss to further enhance 3D quality in regions not visible in predictive views. Now, there are a lot of good stuff happening in this model. I can't go into each and every detail, but just to show you final 3D mesh result obtained using three uh, SV3D compared to outputs of um, SGRNet and Stable 0, 1, 2, 3, look at this video. And you can already tell the difference between quality, the vividness, the crispness of the last column, which is SV3D. How good is that? So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, one more thing before I go, let me show you the installation steps too. If you are, uh, you know, brave enough to install it and you have the real Meaty system with you, go to this GitHub repo, then scroll down, and then from there, uh, let me. This is clone this repo, go to the generative model um, directory, from there set up virtual environment. One very important thing is that you need to have Python 3.10. It doesn't work with any other um, Python version at the moment. And also make sure to have PyTorch 2 install. It doesn't work with any other version. From there, you can go into that Python environment like this. And .pt2 is just the name of the environment. Activate the environment, install um, all the requirements, install SGM, install SData, and then you can also um, build a distributable wheel if you want. This is again, you would need a lot of um, grunt for it. And then for inference, you can either um, do SDXL base 1.0 or refiner 1.0. And also if you're able to install it locally, and if you want to run it with the graphical user interface, then they also have this streamlit demo which you can run locally by simply doing sampling.py. Um, again, you would need quite a meaty system for that, unfortunately, because this is video generation and for that 3D one. So don't expect any uh, commodity hardware you doing it. And then, of course, there is an invisible watermark detection and a lot of other things which are scattered throughout this one. I'm not going to go into the detail of it. But that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions please or thoughts share in the comments please if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching